at the high school. I'm in the business practicum program. Um, and I joined it so I could just like, get experience in the business field. It's really fun. It's a great experience learning about business and I do I do earn an income and that's gonna later on help me with my college tuition. Yes. Tutong is to be up the stairs right here and go up and to your left. This program gives you not just um, experience but gives you knowledge, like really good knowledge to know for the future. Maybe pursuing some career that you are in business or something. And it helps in just in normal jobs, fast food, anything. This job um, helps you find a passion and something that you might love in the working field. And then if you really like, um, want to show um, dedication to your work, this program helps you get those morals. Kids that come through the program now have the opportunity to receive certifications and they're recognized in the industry, the Adobe Associate Certifications, and having those kind of gives you a leg up on other people who don't have it. So when you go to apply for a job, let's say you, you want to work at a, a studio, you want to work for a mom and pop shop that do video production, and you let them know, hey, I have certification, uh, I know kind of what I'm doing, um, they, they'll look at you more seriously than if you're just somebody who comes off the street and just says, well, I'm looking for a job. This class has helped me be more confident and go out and talk to other people because I was actually a shy person and I, I actually don't socialize and this class has helped me build up my confidence and talk a lot and be more smiling and happy. And the whole reason why I wanted to join this was I saw it as a great opportunity to learn a lot of great things as far as, you know, learning how to use a camera, learning how to film, learning how to edit. And even now, I couldn't appreciate it more because of how I have this whole new system with like the TriCaster, learning how to switch, learning how to do all that because that's, it's only going to help me in, in the long run, you know, as far as a career comes not just doing camera work or an edit, I can, you know, it'll be a lot more job opportunities as far as that comes. And then there you are. You see Sam? Yeah. There. Okay. Now let go. And that's it. Everything in this classroom is a hands-on uh, PBL, project-based learning uh, assignments. Students walk in. As soon as they walk in, they start grabbing their materials, setting up their classroom. Uh, they, get, they know their teams, they know their expectations. Our program is a, our, our academy is a T-STEM designation. We've been designated for the second year by TA. Our student dynamics has changed because our school has become an early campus, an early college campus. And those kids are also coming and forming part of the engineering program. So they come in with higher expectations of what they're gonna learn. So the rigor is changing because the kids want more challenging projects. What happens if the liquid settles though? Your battery dies. The same thing that happens in your car. I became interested in this class, um, not only after learning that it was environmental engineering, but since I uh, became interested in becoming a mechanical engineer myself, I decided to join this class, since I knew that all aspects of engineering and all engineering fields would be incorporated into this class in one way or another. What interests me most about this class is that every like subject that we do, every like project, it has to do with the environment. If you like learning how things work, if you like figuring out how to build things, then I recommend this class for you because you come up with the design, you find out the design, and then you create it. And then you get to see what you created work. Mm -hmm. Okay, see some? All right, let's take a look at this. I love these things. This is a very good, it's very good, yeah. It's definitely gram-positive staphylococcus. It's very good, Kivara. Well done. Our health science program has expanded. We've now added more courses, and we've also added an extracurricular organization, the Medical Professions Organization, which is also linked with uh, UTEP's Medical Professional Organization. So we'll have uh, students from our early college high school uh, interacting with college students with, based on their experience, and it'll also help them also uh, fortify their foundations as well as getting them ready for college and their experience at MPO up there in, in UTEP. 
or another branches. It's a very hands-on class and we don't always take notes and we don't always take tests. Like for example, right now we are learning how to do gram stains. So we, uh, we are taught what's the difference between Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. So we know how the bacteria of a strep throat um, infection looks like from a young age instead of waiting until we go into medical school. So what else you got there? What, what exactly are you seeing right now? So you kind of get an experience of what it's going to be like in college and any uh, schools like lab school and med school. So I'm kind of glad that I came here because it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's college and medicine is just put into one. What uh, brings students to the, uh, to the health science program and our health science pathway is the opportunity to learn about healthcare professions and the opportunity to be exposed not only to healthcare professions but to be part of a program where the program is being taught by individuals who have been in research, who have been in the clinical setting, and it's not straight out of a book. The students are actually taught as if they were being taught on the job, on, the, on, on site. When I first started here at Isada, I wanted to become an RN. And then once I realized, well, it's not just RN, you can be anything. So I was, be a surgeon. And I was, I was always like, if, always if iffy on it. I was like, I'm not sure. But then once I really got to see what it's like when I came here, I was like, let's, let's do it. It's the best one all day. Good job. Good job. So you're going to be running through the scenario. You're entering a lobby. And in that lobby, people are arguing. So you're going to respond as if you're the responding officer. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon now. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon now. What? This system trains the, the kids how to shoot, not only target shooting, but actually with a live scenario. Uh, live scenarios could be anything from uh, a burglary, it could be a robbery, it could be just a shooting in, in, in a store. And they learn Drop how to weapon. deal with it by giving Drop verbal commands, by uh, their target, uh, the way they shoot. I think this class will help me because it will give me the gist of how to do a single type of techniques and how it will help me to be a police officer and FBI. If you're really interested to be like a police officer, I believe this would be a good class for you because well, we have two great teachers, even a forensic teacher, and we have like a great simulator that can help you, help you in what you want to be in. Remember, hands up on the head once you uncuff. Good. So a lot of kids are now interested in becoming crime scene investigators. And uh, that's where the forensic science program comes in. Yeah. Play. All right. uh, we you also go through a, a competition where they do a crime scene as if they were actual crime scene investigators. So double lock and thumbs up. Good, very good. So remember that you all have your interests, not only career-wise, but total teaching field, whether it be... We said and it's a class that encourages and enables students to go in the direction of the teaching field, whether it be child development or whether it be teaching in the areas of elementary, middle school, or high school. But it's the prep almost for, I want to be a teacher. Well, I actually have a really big interest in teaching. I would like to teach people about, um, well, I would like to see the students grow. Because you, as a teacher, you see students grow and you see their compassions grow and their interests change. And I find that really interesting. Like, yeah, like a, like a subject or? yeah a teaching position on education. The interest for the middle school would be that not only is it a career oriented type of pathway, but it also shows, also shows them leadership skills, how to interview for these jobs and how to prepare to have an educational track and, and, and career. So if you are going to teach this group, Tell me the needs that the student would have to be prepared for. I think I would like to teach middle school just because that's the point where they're growing as a person and you kind of get to help them. You, you get to push them to be the person that they should be. This is a great opportunity for the students to come to Isparana. There's a lot of opportunities. It's not only robotics and engineering that we have, but we also have the uh, early college, so it can go hand in hand. There's a lot of math involved, 
when it comes to engineering. And all the students will have the opportunity to not just get math credits, but they can get those engineering certifications for Robot C, which is for coding, for computers, and for robots as well. When I had the chance to actually get an opportunity to actually join this program, I took it right away because I had an extra slot when I was registering, and they told me like, oh, if you want, you could double up. So I doubled up, I took the chance, and well, now I'm the president, and I'm enjoying it. As a girl, it interested me. I wanted to experience more on the engineering, and because they say that they need more girls in the engineering field, because there's mostly all men. Some, on competitions, you'll see a lot of girls like more than boys. You'll see a lot of girls, they're controlling the robot, they're, they build the robot. We have over 15 girls in robotics and engineering, which is a good number. At least we're seeing a growing trend. And there's a lot of uh, interest now for the girls where they used to think, you know what, this is only maybe for men, maybe I want to go into marketing, business, or education. But they're seeing now that there's more opportunities for them. The students will have a basic certification for Robot C which is good for any college. And this, this will just tell the college, you know what, uh, they're prepared uh, when it comes to computer science, but they want to go further on. They already have a basic understanding, so it'll be easy for them to integrate themselves into the program. So it's very broad. It's not just computer and build. So anyone that's interested will, have, will basically find a place here in robotics room.